Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the Olympus Sky, it has been a while as always and uh, I hope my good reasons for that but I'm just not feeling that fit lately and um, you know I'm still human, um, you know it depends how you feel basically. Um, I went over my old videos and everything and I found out that a lot of links aren't working now, alright you know I'll, I'll live with it you know. And at this point, it really started to frustrate me, Mr. Mali Von R, I think, uh, I believe uh, his YouTube um, name is. He sent me an image of Rock Ness, like a lot of people do. Um, so I had another question. If you really want me to go deep into Rock Ness, let me know uh, in the comment section, and we'll just do some more Rock Ness. Uh, the videos, uh, the playlist, everything I have is like a long term thing. And once it's done, uh, it will be done. But uh, at the moment, I just want to talk about this. As you can see, we're on the NASA page. Um, there's no image here. And I'll show you. It was from one of my uh, videos where I just started on YouTube. Um, you know, I was just learning how to present stuff and everything. So here I have the link. I'll click on the link. And, you know, you can see it live right now. There's no image here. So there, there's a slight difference here. I found it in the end. Um, they changed the links apparently I think it seems I mean when I look at this um, it seems that there's another structure uh, another structure in how the way they handle PHP and their database and everything so uh, you could say all right that's normal but it, why why I just don't get it um, you, you just shouldn't do that anymore it's it's kind of like we call in the in the, in the business we call this the business core. You should not change this, um, never ever, for any reason. Uh, you just change other stuff around it, but you do, just don't change the links. Uh, here's another thing I want to talk about. It's a bit technical, well, not that technical, but you can see what I'm talking about. I'll try and explain this. And this video is indeed about uh, a lag that has been recurring every time. And um, thanks to Mr. Mally Von R, I just looked for the million time on Rock Nest. <laughs> Don't get me wrong here. Not a bad thing, but I, because every time I open that image, there's another crucial anomaly in it. And I really wish to. I attempted to do like a full disclosure on Rock Nest, but eventually I uh, chose to uh, discontinue the whole project. I literally found like almost 100 anomalies on that. Uh, picture so it is really interesting and I'm really glad that people um, really like that image and you can see it like straight away there's there's no nothing um, nothing hard to um, you don't have to look for it basically so let's talk about this what's what is going on NASA and why I am so annoyed um, let's go to an image here right click here you see uh, this I know it's Dutch it says page page source uh, check out page source so you want to go into the code basically you want to see how it has been built and what is going on there let's go to YouTube here you see page source uh, same button I know it's Dutch uh, forgive me uh, you can see that you know you see a lot of things in other words <clears throat> and it starts at the top right here Right, nothing strange. Let's go to this image. Um, let me see what I can find. So here I can see the page source. And I think that this is really laughable and ridiculous. Because what this shows me, you can see that it is empty. And any like beginner programmer, uh, no matter who you are, you, you can easily distinguish this by this kind of mentality that they don't want you to look inside the code, basically. And now we'll scroll down, see a lot of empty lines. This is done purposely. This is not like uh, this is not like the way it works. You can go to any site, uh, right click, view page source. Um, if you're an English user, you can do that. I mean, I'm using Firefox at the moment. You can use uh, do the same thing in any browser. It works just a bit, a little bit different. And just Google, Google it, you know, and just try it. And then finally you're on the code. So I also found out uh, in the past I won't be able to show you directly right now because it has been a year or two since I've checked that out. And they suddenly shut it down that uh, the part that shows images on Google. So when you're Googling for things, uh, for an image, you just it will just not pop out anymore on Google. Um, by the way, talking about Google, if you're looking for images or strange things, 
try different search and search engine as well so let's get into the the leg so what is going on so like i showed you i mean it's really old video just started on youtube um so if you decide to watch that video just be prepared <laughs> Uh, you always have to practice and learn things. Uh, that's that's what life is about, right? Uh, let's go into this. So I got the images. I will, by the way, check out um, this image. Look on my computer and try and compare. Maybe that they made changes to it. But I think um, you know I'll give NASA this one. Um, it's it's just that they plan to change things structurally. Um, a lot of programming companies aren't up to the task to identify a business core that should not be changed in the code basically and but people still do it <clears throat> a lot of people are still you know uh it's it's i still feel like that programming is is in its kind of birth phase i know it has been around for a long long time but this is the first time when we actually have programming languages that are uh here right now and that they will remain here i know that it, the thing that is switching right now are database languages but uh, you're not here to to hear that you want to see the anomaly and you want let, all right let's jump into it enough talking here uh, talking about this now you can see i'm on the official page yeah i'll provide you the official link as always uh and remember i'm not feeling that fit but i hope you enjoy the video and hope it will turn out great uh you can see that there is some something that looks like a leg here you can see the, the foot here, kind of the, the knee joint, whatever it is, and kind of the upper leg part. Uh, let's go to the next image. You've probably seen this if you're uh, like a uh, veteran subscriber on my channel. But uh, it seems that due to growth, it doesn't hurt to do these images again. And I might be able to find a lot of, a lot of more stuff. I already have found some stuff. But uh, let me know uh, in the comment section what you want to see, what you want to hear. There are a lot of stuff that I still need to do, like a part two and IP this. Um, you know, a lot of crazy stuff there. I know and I haven't forgotten. I promised you that that will come. And it will come in time, believe me. I hope that I will have some extra videos during Christmas that you can watch if you still enjoy the channel. Um, here you can see again, uh, you kind of got a foot shape here and it kind of stops at the ankles here and it kind of looks like it was part from a um, part of a statue now you know what the fun part is here is this is you can see by the number here saw 186 and this is 186 as well but let's go into this you can see there's really giant rock here uh this kind of thing here that looks very suspicious i already covered it in uh, one of my uh, earliest videos Let's go back, here's that little thing, and here's that giant rock. So this is basically a picture that was taken um, a bit more above, basically, uh, compared to this image. So it's the region above this image, and it's kind of a coincidence. You find one thing here that looks like a foot, and then we have another thing here that looks like a foot. Now, that's not all. Let's go back to Rock Nest and this this also really reminds me of a foot but it's kind of more corroded like kind of more destroyed but you still see the shape and kind of the same features like in the other images so let's jump into photoshop and as you can see here always official links uh no crazy stuff so i didn't do a lot to it let's grab a look here you can see what is going on here and let me copy the layer here uh, let me see if the brush tool is fine again always messing around I don't even remember <laughs> no, I am messing around of course this is still my private PC but I still use it for job application things uh, for work so uh, alright I've got a kind of a foot shape here and uh, you can see that it is connected to this uh, this foot shape so you can see the uh, kind of um, backside of the foot here. It, it, it just corresponds, you know. Um, I enhanced it just a bit, you know. You can see the original here. Uh, nothing wrong with that. You can see that the lines are the same for the new guys. Uh, since this is a weird channel, I can understand your skepticism. Uh, and sometimes not. <clears throat> but when we look at the top part here of this foot, it almost seems like it was part of a bigger construction um you can think of for example when you make 
a ginormous statue or I don't think that's a really good example but we make a building um, we construct a building you make it like piece by piece and then eventually you get the end result so this could be like a part of maybe I don't know but it really does look like some kind of foot um, here's another thing and this one uh, when we look at the original one I always thought that this part here it's actually stone as well, and then we will just grab a deeper look here. It's still possible that there is, hold on, that this is still like rock here, but it almost seems like this is the background, like uh, like the ground here, you know, part of the background. Um, so this one actually looks a bit more mechanical. Now remember that this foot or leg, um, I think I'll call it a leg, just for the sake of everyone, and for the consistency this one was found just a bit more you know I don't know how far like let's say a couple of meters just above that area so we have foot one we have foot two although it seems I think that this is the right foot when you look at it and this is the left part but they are definitely two different things although the um, the coincidence here is ginormous so what are, what are we looking at let's take a look here and it seems like this is hollowed out all right now keep that in mind um you have a really small kind of curve here and this curve seems to be aligned to this disc shape like um not too good at drawing a fit here like the knee joint needs to move so it makes sense and when you look at this part it seems like it's going like this and it's going down it makes a curve here it seems to compensate for this piece here so this is really interesting it really does fit together um just look at it just think about it and you know make your own conclusions I know that it's somewhat connected to the ground here, but I have no idea what is going on there. It does seem like this is a separate thing, however. Now let's go to the third leg here. don't have a lot to say about this, but um, I'm still thinking. I'm still thinking. So let me duplicate this layer here. This part here, it seems like it is connected to the back. Although I haven't figured out 100% sure that it is is indeed connected to this uh, this kind of body here um, it it does have again this weird shape here what would connect on top uh, the foot would go here and again like a knee and so you know I want you to make your own conclusions about this and also wanted to um, kind of throw out my frustration about links not working and I'm still checking out what's what's going on here so uh, make your own conclusions about that as well um, it is really important not to go completely crazy because something has gone on the internet uh, like I said you know I will get give NASA that one as well it's fine um, like I said you know programming is still in its infancy so to say and mistakes can be made but you know you'd expect something better from NASA um, but you'd expect something better from, from Google as well. And Google does some really radical, stupid things as well. Uh, YouTube is one of those things. It's, uh, it's, it's just stopped working properly when they bought YouTube in 2005. No, not 2005. I don't remember exactly anymore. But, uh, you know, I was, I was really excited when YouTube was new in 2005. It was really good times. Uh, you could like rate something by quality with five stars, three stars, four stars. And before you clicked on a video, you could see how many stars a video had and how long it, uh, it actually took. Now, on the other side, we're quite uh, lucky that that doesn't exist anymore because a lot of people here just don't understand or are um, just, just wish to avoid this subject about space. Uh, people just look at this video, just wind it forward, wind it forward and uh, yeah i've seen it i know now everything i know everything now but uh, that's just not the way it works that is very unfortunate but uh, i hope you enjoyed the video as always and uh, see you in the next video still working on uh, a lot of things um, i'm super excited to um, you know i just want to release a lot of things right now but i just can't you know i have to do this um, structurally like step by step 
and I hope you will get to point eventually. So thank you very much for still sticking um, by with me, sticking with this video. Like I said, excuse me, I'm still not very fit at the moment. Uh, I've been uh, sick for the past couple of weeks and still haven't visited the doctor. I really don't like doing that. But I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Again, have a nice weekend. And um, hopefully see you in the next video. And definitely leave some feedback down below. It is uh, really valuable for me. And I haven't commented uh, for a while on, um, on comments. But I've read them all as always. And um, again, thank you very much. See you in the next video.